happy birthday, Rizomo. Okay, if you can hear me, I'm hoping the zoom is actually really working, but if not, that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's see. Hmm. All right. So, um, can anybody see the chat? Because I wasn't sure if the video was working or anything. Is anybody in my Twitch stream right Twitch channel right now? Because um, I'm not sure if it's working. Because it looks like everybody's in pause right now on my end. But um But yeah, so um thank you all for actually coming to my stream. I am Daily May. I will be um, hosting this show. So I'm so excited because this is my first one. Um Thank you so much for the follow. The screen is frozen. Oh no. One moment. Sorry, y'all. We're having technical difficulties. I'm cr Let me see. Wow. You're going to be hearing a lot of that. We're having difficulties. Um, can you guys see the screen or... What the heck is going on? Oh no. Hold on. Can you guys see it? It's too frozen. Damn it. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, but... Uh, should do a display capture. Display OBS. capture? Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. First show and I'm already... I'm already... Okay, wait. I think I got it. Um... Is this... is this right? Can you can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just have to make it uh, size oh. it so it's uh, we can see everything. Okay, one moment. I am so sorry about that. This is my first time doing this on Zoom. I mean, I'm fam I'm kind of familiar with OBS, but at the same time, I this is my first time using Zoom on OBS. So, can you guys see the screen now? Is it not frozen? I hope we're not freezing this time. Let me just remove that. Uh, looks right. Okay, cool. Awesome. Coming okay. Clear for me. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. All right. All right. I mean, you're going to be hearing a lot of notifications for new followers, but anyway, um, I will be uh, will be doing an improv. Um, there's going to be two stand-ups, um, and then yeah, I don't know non-participants. How do I hide non-participants? <laughs> Uh, it's under video options. If you hit the arrow next to start video and go to video settings. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. I. There we go. Is this okay now? Yes, that's yeah. we're, we're all ex perfect. Yay! Okay, awesome. 
Nice. We're g we're gonna be hearing a lot of followers anyway, so um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> if you can make me host, Aaron, so I can actually share the screen. All right. So Aaron and I are gonna go back and forth. All right. I am the host. Yay! All right. So. Let me just share the screen and we're going to select our first team. So, if you guys can you guys see that screen? Yes. yes. Okay, awesome. Perfect. So, I'm going to go ahead and select the first team. And the first team coming up is Ooh. We got Team Cake. Yay! Yay! We're having cake, team Cake cake cake. cake. Yes, and um, joining us um, is going to be, when I call your name, definitely turn on your camera. Team Cake is going to be James, Nelson, Carolyn, Donovan Santiago, Juan Munoz, and Michael. Yay, so... All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna also I'm gonna also share a, a new screen and we're gonna select our topic. Can you see that? Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. All right, awesome, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to spin, and it is going to be. Resident oh. Evil! <laughs> right, all right. So we have Resident Evil. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and make Aaron the host this time. I don't know how I'm going to do that. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, go to participants and go to my name the, with the drop where it says more and make host. Okay, one moment. Let me just not share. I'm so bad at Zoom. I'm, I do apologize. It, it I, takes practice. Yes, it does. Yeah. How do I do that? Um, so next to, you know, the button that you would do for share screen in Zoom, go to participants to the left of it. Okay, hang on. It says number 16. I can't even see it now. What the heck? It's unbelievable. Um, well, you're still sharing your screen, so you're gonna want to stop. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, at, yeah, yeah. At, yeah. At that drop down at the top center of the screen. Okay, there it is. Oh my God, I am yeah. so there slow. I am so slow. It's okay. It's okay. I am so slow. I'm so sorry. Um. So wait, what do I do to make you host? Participants. Um, at the bottom, next to where you would press uh, share screen. Oh, Nute's in the chat. Yes, hi Anute. And then, oh yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. There, there. Now I'm making Aaron host. <sighs> All right. I am host. All right, now everybody turn off your cameras. And then the, the timer will start when the first person comes up on the screen. Good luck. Anyway, man, so I just released the virus in the city. Called it a day. Re released the virus into the city and called it a day. What? Yeah, man, dude. The, the G, the C, the T, the L, the elemental P. Man, I was, you know, shit. Just, I mean, I was, forget my language. I wasn't supposed to curse. Uh, <laughs> you could have almost sung that. Elemental P. I'm not a saint. Look, last time I checked, I'm a scientist. You're a scientist, apart from all of you. That's and right. We do weird science experiments in, up in the Arkley Mountains, or Barclay Mountains. I don't even care what the name is at this point. Ezekiel, I know that we're scientists and we're ch trying to figure this out, but we don't really have a residency. We had a residency until it turned evil. Get the, re it? the Resident Evil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so now the whole universe is our home. Oh yeah, well they nuked Raccoon City because of my little leak. 
So, first of all, why would you even name a city Raccoon City? I don't. The, the, the city deserved to be nuked. I'm sorry. <laughs> the traffic was terrible. That's to ooh, 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 Raccoon City e e Council meeting. Well, we've started our new city, and we need to name it something. Uh, uh, I move we he. I move that we call it Vol City. Any takers? No, I move that we call it Porpoise City. Porpoise City, yes. I mean, mean, because it has a porpoise. Yes. Because it has a porpoise. As a member Thank of you. the whale community, I take great offense to that. First of all. Um, so there I was in the ocean, minding my business. And I was just like, why do we have to keep swimming, you know? What's the deal with that? What if I wanted to walk on land with everyone else? You're free to do it if you can. Listen, I hate breathing. Oh my god, breath, wait, breath, wait, breath. But it's something that we have to do. It's why we're here. It's part of our expectation. It's, I can't stop breathing and you can't stop swimming. And it's like a heartbeat. I, you know, it's, it's rough for my heart to beat all the time, but if it doesn't beat, I'm gone. So, do you have a suggestion on what we're going to call this city? Um, yes, I was definitely thinking, you know, something something that I love personally, which is fish. Fish city. How does that sound? Fish, fish city. A new fish city. Welcome to Salmon City, everybody. Our mayor, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Mayor, this is one of the best ribbon cutting ceremonies I've ever experienced. As a blowfish myself, it's lovely. I know. And as a, an upstream salmon. Look. I'm so impressed the way you uh, swim against the stream. I've been swimming up the stream my whole life. Ever since I was wee high to my to my son, who's kind of like four foot five, I used to swim upstream. Wow, your son got tall. My goodness. Well, Jacobs is supposed to be coming in here any minute. There he is. There he is. Hi, Jacob. I haven't seen you in years. Nice You're so lady. big. Hi, nice lady. This is this is my wife. Damn it. Okay, so she's still a nice lady. I'm not wrong. All right. I've been your stepmom for a while, but I know I haven't seen you lately. I was in the hospital with emphysema for a Even though I'm a blowfish, I can hold a lot of smoke and got today. Yep, well, that's how it goes. Smoke them if you got them, is what I say. Yeah, I'm a dead dad in space balls. Space balls, I still haven't seen that, honey. Yeah. You know what? I'm sick of both of you at this point. You know, you, my stepwife, you haven't seen space balls, and you, my son, doesn't even know my stepwife. You know what? I became mayor of this city by accident. Don't you cry on me. Look, you wake up. I want real mommy back. I want real mommy back. Oh, so you both want to get rid of me? I guess I wasn't a good stepwife. Well, I'm gonna go get real wife right now. Cut, cut to real mommy. <laughs> Son. You mommy. Son, what is the problem with you? You're always complaining about your stepmom. Well, they keep trying to make me watch Mel Brooks movies. Oh, oh, I feel your pain. I do, I do. But you know what, son? If you're really going to be my son, you're going to have to show better character. Character than that. You need to quit taking up residency and being evil. Hey, what, what's wrong? Is Richard giving you problems again? Yes. Is he going on about the Mel Brooks movies today? I mean, Look, Blazing it's... Saddles wasn't bad, but after a, I'm a while, some of them get a little tired. I get it. I get it. But... If, if you're just enrolled at Corpus High School, you, 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 your, your education on Mel Brooks would be so much better. And he would have a purpose for being He would there. very much have a purpose. 
I mean, look at us, honey. We we graduated from Corpus High. You're brilliant, and yes, we did, in fact. Sorry, I, I'm sorry I only got into Raccoon High, okay? I didn't have Corpus grades. And you don't want to gotcha. Bring it up the to whole, me. The whole place is nothing but a pile of ash. And you're always showing your tail. You, the raccoon high. You gotta let go, be so much ash. What are we gonna do with him? What are we gonna do with him? Why don't we just sit him off over the uh, ex-husband for a bit? Okay, he can go. Alright. Now if you don't mind, I gotta go back to counting my puffer fish. Oh. Wait, that is. Hi there, welcome to uh, Animal, uh, this is my Animal Crossing uh, stream. <laughs> uh, I'll be playing as Tom Nook. Um, and uh, I'll be uh, hounding, I'll be hounding everybody for uh, bells because I'm a, bad, I'm a bad, bad person, I guess, allegedly. Uh, this is my stream. Uh, please hit the subscribe button down there. Yeah, and let's let's bring on uh, let's bring on my guest for the stream. You know him as the creator of the Unreal Tournament games, Cliff Lazinski. Cliff Le 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 Cliff Lazinski, get out here. Welcome, God. Sorry, I was having video problems. Hey, how's it going? Well, hey, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me as I'm playing Animal Crossing. Uh, so you created Unreal Tournament. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I definitely one of my crowning achievements. Yes. Not only that, Gears of War, Cliff. And Gears of War has just been an absolute dream project for us. And especially the fact that we recently got the new day as a part of the Gears of War download. Oh, such a such a dream come true. But I was a fan. I was also a fan of the Big Shell DLC, but you can barely see Big Shell. Cause he's still big. But see, that's the thing. The playing field that they're actually playing on is Big Show. Wait a minute. You're telling me the Big Show, the world's largest athlete, they're playing on the Big Show? They're playing on the Big Show. You know, you know that uh, building that, you know, most, most, most of the mass, but that really, really tall church looking building? Yeah. Okay. That's his dick. I'm not allowed to say that on Twitch. Oh, you mean his? You mean his ding dong? Look, I was in the locker room once with Big Show. I was actually before I started uh, streaming on my account daily. Uh, hey, um, I was I was a wrestler. Yeah, I was there when the Big Show when he unrolled. My God. Wait, you're talking about the legendary slip snafu of WCW? Yeah, who's there? Me, Bill Goldberg, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper, Mr. Perfect. I was a Ric Flair. Wow. So it slipped out, and I saw it by accident out the corner of my eye, and I thought, man, is it, did somebody release a snake into the room? It wasn't. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was it was the 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 slip snip of WCW. That uh, gave me the inspiration. Oh yeah! Oh my God, God. is that Macho Man Randy Savage? Ooh, yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> oh yeah! And this whole stream completely got unreal. I hear you guys talking about me, or you saying evil things about me. No, Macho Man, we love him. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, you're my kind of guys. I'm so thankful that you are thinking about me. Macho Man, we thought you died. No, no, it was just a temporary shortage of breath. Wow. Macho Man, that Slim Jim must have been massive. Yeah. Oh. Coming out you to the stream. I'm so glad to see you guys listen. I've got to go get some more air. Wow. I don't know how Macho Man got the Zoom code and password, but he did. That's amazing. Look, before I end, uh, 
We might have one more guest. Um, pro possibly Perry Saturn and Moppy. Sweet. Never mind. <laughs> Want to buy a Zoom code and password? I've got them all. You, you, you can jump on anybody's stream who you want. I've got them all. My, my mom prefers if I use Skype. <laughs> you don't need your kind, dear. You get out. Okay, sir. Sir, do you have the Mickey Mouse Zoom code? I've got it right here. Oh, okay. Mickey Mouse. Fifty dollars? Well, I have, I have two dollars in this watch. Would that work? I'll take it. There you go. Thank you. What are you going to do with the Mickey Mouse code, though? Oh, I'm going to be zooming with the, with the mouse himself. I, I can't wait to spend time with the mouse. Come to the Mickey Mouse Zoo room with Nelson. Just let me do what I want. Gee, I wish I had had parents like that growing up. They were so strict. I well, ended up just being a musketeer. You can have my parents for two dollars and your watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I have a mini mouse watch. I'm gonna have to go get the two dollars. I, I got Nelson. Uh, uh, shucks, uh, I'm uh, I'm the kid's parent, Goofy. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> That's right. But, you know, say what they say about us. Our animated made-to-TV movies were definitely better than Mickey Mouse's holiday specials. I beg to differ. You know your kids running around Zoom bombing. I forget you're Mickey Mouse. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I think I am. Oh. Mickey Mouse, we get it. You had the holiday <laughs> TV show. <laughs> Yuck. And it was great. You had the crossover before Kingdom Hearts. It was great. But... That's right, Goofy. What? I said, that's right, Goofy. <laughs> Look, the Extremely Goofy Movie is an underlooked Goofy Movie. I mean, me in college, skateboarding, um, that meme that became favorite that I can't say because it's really inappropriate but really funny. Yeah, you better not say it in my Zoom. I can't even believe you went to college, Goofy, and that's a show. I did. Not only that, uh, do you realize that my wife has passed away. Oh, I'm real sorry to hear that. What was her name again? I think it was... Pete. What? Oh, Pete, uh, Pete, Petey Olive, Olive Garden. Oh, she made the best bread sticks. I'm so sorry to hear that. Junk. Hey, you want to get out of here? It looks like our time's about to run out. Yeah, I could use a break, and i got to find $2 somewhere. <laughs> and scene! Yay! Everybody come out here and take a bow! That was wonderful! <laughs> there was a lot of mix of Resident Evil, wrestling, Disney. Ooh, my favorites. Alright. <clears throat> you can go ahead and, <laughs> and turn on, off your cameras. I'm going to be introducing you the first stand-up performer. Um, I've played with him mostly for Mining for Gold. He is completely amazing. Um, I've teamed up with him many times. Um, it would, it's uh, really enjoyable to see him on the scene. So he, he was just on this previous team. So please give me a warm welcome to Michael W. Woo! Thank you so much. These amazing are happening right me here today because, of course, they don't just let anybody out. Let's see. Uh, hey, I am Michael Wilkowski, uh, originally from New Jersey Estate. I've noticed most people know I'm either the Sopranos or Jersey Shore. 
After years of trying to correct them otherwise, I've just started telling people, no, the state is exactly like that. The day in New Jersey is you, you wake up, you, you, I'm a whack a guy. You get a spray on tan, you get hit up a business for protection money, and then you go twerking at a nightclub. That is what a day in New Jersey is that sounds like your tea, you definitely want to check it out. <laughs> Something else you should know about me is that I am basically a collection of bad habits that have congealed into a person. I don't exercise, which, to be fair, is true of so many of us, particularly the summer days. I mean, you only have to look at all the rise of food delivery services to know that, indeed, nobody wants to move any more than absolutely necessary. Honestly, Uber asswipe can't be too far off. Ever thought, ass, why can't you wipe yourself? Call Uber asswipe. The Uber driver will drive to your house, walk in, and do a business for you. Guaranteed same sex options to reduce awkwardness. Except oh my god. The, awkward. <laughs> the worst part of this joke is knowing that somebody will actually invent this in like a year and make like a off of it and I will get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if, only I was so, if, if only I was not so lazy. And I am lazy. But to be fair, I know it and I can plan around it. For example, recently. A friend of mine asked me to take care of their cat when they left town. And my first thought was, listen, I'm not even taking care of myself properly. Adding something else for me to take care of, too, is just going to make everything worse. But, of course, you don't say that. I said yes, so he showed me how to do it, and then fine. Two days before he was supposed to leave, he, he called me up and he told me, hey, Michael, I don't need your help anymore. I found a cat sitter online who I've decided to go with instead. So instead of getting a trusted friend to take care of the cat for free, he found somebody on the internet who he's never met, who wants money for it, and decided, you know what, I'm going to go with them. <laughs> I don't trust you with another form of life as that. Which, to be fair, look at me, that is a good call. I mean, let's be honest, if I got my identity Stole it, I'll get it back two days later with the condolences card. Undoubtedly, though, my worst thing is that I think that I'm funny. Not to say I can't be funny, right? I mean, I'm definitely not asking because I need validation for my actions. Anyway. Uh, but the issue is, I end up trying to trying to think of a way to make everything funny. I could be at a funeral, and somebody could say, oh, here was the life of the party, and I'll be thinking, not anymore. <laughs> so I have to literally kick myself in the ass mentally to keep myself from saying some of these jokes. I'm just sitting there thinking of these, and the voice in my head goes, you're at a bloody funeral, don't even think about it, boy. Yeah, the, yeah, the voice in my head is my <laughs> now, now straighten up and put you in the green. <laughs> I need help. Luckily, there's a huge variety of self-help books out these days. I don't, I don't read like a, most of our generation, but I know right now I am not qualified to write a self-help book. The closest thing I could write would be a self help Want to learn how to not exercise eyes for lengthy periods of time? Seeking employment in a job that you hate while maintaining no forward momentum in life? Well, I've got the book for you. It's How to Lose Friends and Alienate People by I, uh, Michael Wachowski. The New York Times. This, the New York Times described it as depressing and unhelpful. Oh, four out of five psychologists recommend that you do not read this book, 
and that fifth one just wants you to have to visit them after you get through it. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, available wherever fake books are sold. I have recently realized that I could use the descriptor may or may not be the serial killer in, 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 in reference to anybody and have it technically be true. As a result, I've started referencing and introducing people all the time with that added at the end. Hey, these are my pants who may or may not be serial killers. Hey, this is who may or may not be a serial killer. Hey, this is Jackie Dahmer who may or may not be a serial killer. I think I just realized the flaw on this plan. It's fine. I barely knew him. I just ate dinner at his house once. Had the meatloaf. It was a good game. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have been accused of being a bit of a dick in the past. But to be fair, I come from a long line of dicks. My dad's a dick. A bunch of my family and relatives are dicks. Dicks. Point is, I come from good dick stock. Dick stock by the way worst face ever. I love the internet. There's so much bad shit crazy there that I find something new to love about the world every day. I recently came across a potato personalization site. If you have ever thought to yourself, hey, I would love a picture or a portrait imprinted on the side of a potato that I could own, well then your starchy ship has come in. But most importantly, the, the website wants you to know that you can order these potatoes anonymously. Literally, out of the three lines of the ad, it uses the word anonymous twice. Which, which begs the question to me, what sort of potatoes are people ordering they cannot afford to have show up on their credit cards? I can only assume that there's some large potato-based porn in porn business that I am just completely out of the loop on. Um, um, though I did think of an advantage of potato-based porn, namely disposability. Magazines, tapes, if your room was searched, there's nothing that often that there's nothing that you can do but potatoes can be eaten. And, and as they rot eventually, it's like porn with the self-destruct feature, which is nice if you're the forgetful sort, and I can't remember what I have for breakfast today, so that's very good for me. Honestly, if I Honestly, if I ran this business, I would do all deliveries through a giant potato can. You just give us our coordinates, we load up the potato and you stand outside with the catches in it. We could also just use this can to pelt people's houses with potatoes, so that's like a secondary business that we could, we could basically branch off of this. And if you're thinking to yourself, Michael, couldn't you be sued for like people breaking windows and getting hit with per, uh, and getting hit with potatoes? Just remember, potatoes don't break windows. People break windows. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the worst part of me doing stand-up is the hours. Wiggly out until midnight, but open mic. And then I have to wake up at 5, 6 a.m. for uh, uh, work, and I'm really not a night owl. I'm not a morning person either. Honestly, I got 20 good minutes a day. I got to get anything important done in those 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 I'm on my phone, on the internet, or just trying to wait until the next 20 minutes. Well, honestly, I asked another stand-up how to deal with it, and he recommended cocaine. But the issue was, I already had, like, this heroin habit, and with that heroin. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> commitments. Point is, my proverbial needle is just full right now, and I can't take on another drug habit. Uh, so yes, I am Michael Wachowski. If you liked any of this, like me on Facebook. I have lots of other stupid, funny eat crap there. And and if you didn't, please send all your complaint letters to to my stage name, Dane Cook. Uh, very, very, thank you very much for your the time and stay tuned for the rest of the show. Yay. Woo! Oh my God, I haven't laughed so much in so long. Thank you so much, Michael. Thanks for having me, Visa. Yeah, of course. I can't stop laughing. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next team. So, um, Aaron, you can go ahead and 
make me host <laughs> again. All right. Now. All right. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. We are now gonna go move on to our second team. Um, can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. yes. Awesomeness. All right. Let's start spinning the wheel. And it is going to be. <gasps> Team Cookies! Yay! All right. When I call your name, um, definitely turn on your camera. So on Team Cookies, it's going to be Henley, Kavita, Hannah, Sonics, and Kevin McNair. Yay! Woo. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna go on to the next wheel. Can you guys see that one? Just let me know. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Awesomeness. All right, let's see what your topic is going to be. And it is going to be... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Training Daily Maze Dog! Yay! All right, I'm gonna stop the share. This is gonna be an awesome, I, I have a strong feeling this is gonna be awesome because this will involve my dog. So um, yeah, just turn off your cameras and um, good luck. Welcome everyone to our dog training birthday party. Quick question. Yes. Quick question. As the dog have already ate all the cake, and I mean all the cake. It was a 17 pound ice cream cake from Carvel. Yeah. How, how's it feeling? Is it feeling okay? It was looking a little blue in the face, but it was a blue whale cake, so I'm a little bit confused and concerned. You know, if he starts passing out, maybe vomiting, then I would call the vet. Other than that, I think maybe just the cake died. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, yes. What, what do I do? I can't control my dog. It just it really, really wants to get with this other dog. Uh, What's that? Uh, that sounds like a horny dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? The, the, the animals sometimes just gotta let them live. Let, let them, them be animals. animals. That, that's my philosophy. Would you like to try that sandwich, Emily? 
Curtis or Nana is over her dog, help it behave. You can say whatever you want. What's, what's your dog's name again? This is Rusty. Rusty. Rusty, keep your privates to yourself. <laughs> I don't think you like that much. Uh, sorry. Uh, babysitting. Okay, okay. I can, I can do this. Um, um, Rusty. Rusty, what? Rusty, Rusty, wait, can you just, stop? like, stop? Please? Just chill? Rusty, sit. Rusty is now sitting down. Good boy. Great, great job with that, Emily. Oh, this is great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy I can help out. It really just takes practice. That's the key with this. Uh, question? Yes, Sam? Uh, well, Fido just released some, uh, excrement out of his, you know, in. A human skull came out. Can I be worried about this? I know he eats a lot. Something you know, you know, it is possible that it was already a dead body buried in the ground. It is possible your dog killed someone. I, I, would, I would keep a close watch on it. Dogs running away. Running away. I have a question for you, Sam. Have you and or your dog been to any graveyards recently? Maybe that's where it's from. Of course. That's where we always play fetch at. I, I think we have an answer then. He probably dug up a dead body when you weren't looking and ate it. Oh, okay. So then my mother's just not speaking to me on regular turns. She just doesn't like that. That makes more sense. Good dog. Not eating my mother. <laughs> so, now that we've had our little training lesson, it's time for the birthday party part. You got to put the little cute hats on them. Here you go. That's for your doggies. And selfie time. Grab your phones. Let's take some selfies. take a photo with you now yeah. and I yeah. hope you can yeah. smile. person out there that I'm mildly attracted to, I can just take my coat with butt. I, I mean, it, the, the thing that's different in terms of dogs and humans, humans will have to have consent. As long as that's there, go for it. So you're telling me these savage beasts don't have consent? Well, I, you know, I would like to think in an ideal world that they do ask for consent telepathically first, but you can't really tell. 
You're telling me these dogs are like Professor X from the X-Men and have telepathic powers? Yeah, he you know that. Everyone knows that. Oh, no. He knows my inner thoughts. Don't you know my inner thoughts? Back to McNair's dog knowing uh, his inner thoughts. I know what my owner's thinking. Hey, get out here, Rusty. I know you're hiding. Rusty, yeah. There you are. I know my owner's inner thoughts. He thinks that Tide Pods are food. Just asked me if he can run for town council, and I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. You know, I, I would say with, with the supervision of their human dog, <laughs> they could do anything. We need again, we have to always assert dominance, though. We have to control their decisions. If they can give creative input, but we ultimately make the decision. That's our role as their owner. Okay. What dog? You want me to wear a collar? You own me now. So, what do you 
anything you're going to implement when you get home, Emily, with Rusty? Well, we're not going to do treats, you know, like as excessively. Usually I've been doing them once a week, and I think now it's really got to be, a, Rusty's got to do a really good job for to get a treat. And it's going to be, it's not just going to be willy-nilly, here are treats, and I'm going to do a better job of asserting my dominance, but still with some creativity, like you said. Let, let some room for creativity. Like maybe if we want to watch Sleepless in Seattle together and have some popcorn, like maybe I can share a little bit more. I think that's a great plan. Something I forgot to mention earlier. So unfortunately for us humans, the dogs can communicate with themselves telepathically. They can read our minds. We cannot read theirs. So you really have to be sure to filter everything you're saying. It's total hassle, I know, but that's the best way to have dominance over the dog. Actually, that is more to real life, you know, where, you know, men can't read women's minds, so we shouldn't try to. We should just let them speak freely and do as they do and not control them in any ways. Anyways, I'm going to put back on zipper down this mask. He, he had me wear the collar and he said put on this mask too and just, you know, I don't see anything and it's really leathery, but it's no horror. You know what? You, you just have to live the life that you want to live and you do you. So that's okay. That's my also philosophy. In terms of humans and dogs, cohabitate. Wow. So if, if Rusty wants to go out on a date, with another dog, I should probably let it happen. You get to have the balance. You gotta, they, they have the input, but you ultimately make the decision on what's best for their life. And scene, yay! That was amazing. Everyone take a bow. That was awesome. It turned into a dog party. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries. Okay. <laughs> nice job, Team Cookies. I'm so. That was really. <laughs> okay. So. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. So the next is um, we're gonna have our second performer doing stand up. Um, this gentleman is actually one of my closest friend and. Um, Sometimes during our college days, um, sometimes he would crash in my dorm, and if he it was like if it's like really late out at night and he can't go home, he would usually crash into my dorm. Most of the time, he'd be sleeping under my bed. Uh, <laughs> so he sometimes so technically he was my roommate, but um, I'm so happy ab about of his accomplishments because he can compose plays, musicals, music, and comedic sketch. Um, it is my honor to introduce you. My friend, Juan Munoz. Yay! Please unmute yourselves, okay? I want an immersive experience. Uh, anyways, thank you so much, Resume, for introducing yourself. And uh, like, wait, what, do you, what am I trying to say? For introducing like our background to her. I didn't crash under her bed. I was like a pregnant dog giving birth and just like uh she would like lay down a blanket and i would crash under her very tall bed um, anyways also thank you i'm so excited to be here on your birthday uh doing stand up uh this isn't actually my first zoom performance i opened for a staff meeting uh yesterday it was actually pretty great and i think they let me be the closing act for a classroom and the host or teacher whatever was like Sir, you have to leave. This is an educational setting. And I'm like, oh my god, you're obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really weird to have people come by. But you know, I'm making adjustments to be pretty chill with it. Um, that's pretty much a statement. You just kind of introduce yourself. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, yes, which means that we have to most people. Um, I also almost drank the recommended amount of uh, daily water, so I'm just like vibing. Uh, my mom is actually really against the fact that I'm a vegetarian. Um, she's like, you need to eat meat. And I'm like, girl, where was this energy when I came out of the closet? It's like, why the switch up? <laughs> 
you know what 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 changed uh, i currently work uh, a day job remotely from my home i have an office job and i'm really getting in the mindset of the corporate world um and it got me thinking like if i have kids i'm strictly gonna raise them to prepare them for like corporate america they're gonna have very like straightforward names like I, this is what I imagine a, like a day in my household would be like. So my three-year-old daughter, she, she has a tantrum, uh, and I, I approach her, I say, Susan, uh, can you chat? Can you chat? Okay, great. So I observed that you were crying, and, and you threw your SpaghettiOs, you your SpaghettiOs at the wall. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my team and I have reviewed this, and we will be letting you go. <laughs> uh, you can uh, check your snack name uh, with Robert, your brother in HR, but I uh, have to leave the premises. Uh, here's a uh, lunchbox for your belongings, and I'll see you later, Susan. I'll see you later, Susan. Uh, I'm what I like to call a fun uncle, but again, I don't really try to baby. Uh, my nieces and nephews, but again, I really just want to prepare them to be grown uh, in the world. So, if they're going to tell you on the job, what are you doing? And most kids, they're pretty self-aware. They're like, you know what? No, I, I am, I'm acting up. I'm like, that's what I thought. Maybe just, maybe just chill. Maybe just chill a little bit. Uh, the other day, a telemarketer called me, and I didn't want to let them go. Uh, I think it's the social distancing that's really getting to me. Um, it's like, I really wanted to be like, hey, telemarketer, why doesn't anyone ever call you? You know, it's like, you're always your And it's like, you know, do you ever get lonely? Uh, <laughs> so does anyone remember the show Goosebumps? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was obsessed with that show. It's on Netflix for anyone that cares. But I, as Rizzi mentioned, I work as an actor and a performer. And I would get weirdly jealous of the kids on the show and like judge their performances. I was like, you got that weird? You were being chased by a haunted mask. You know, it's like, I really wanted to be in that position. And I, I know they remade the Goosebump movies. Uh, but it has nothing on those 90 episodes, and I, I, those are just like, I wonder how they like pitch that to a network though. Like, some of those episodes are so weird, it's like, why is this, okay, I'm watching it. Oh my god, it's on Netflix, so if you want to check it out, it's, uh, it's a good show. <laughs> But back to like my upbringing and uh, growing up as a kid, um, I always thought that like being a kid and I have to be a little fun, but like not too long, like a day, you know, just like a day. And pretty, you know, it's like let's hang out, uh, but I'm like after a while, I'm like I'm not really vibing with this. I want to sleep in my bed. Like, that's for too long. <laughs> Um, so I started thinking about like virtual dating. Has anyone on any virtual dating apps? No. Oh, we're all taken. Wow. I guess we're all taken. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like no, I don't date. I filter feed. Like. Anyway, so I'm not on dating apps anymore because I kind of lost faith uh, in dating apps, and I also started realizing that there's a lot of people that like catfish. On these dating apps, uh, I actually ran into someone that I could totally tell was using uh, fake pictures on Tinder, and I was like, okay, this is pretty weird. Like, I just don't think that's like something that's okay. And then I started thinking, does this happen on other apps? Like, does someone go on farmers only, and then like they find out the dude doesn't have a farm? Like, his farm can she real? Like, can she like move like showing up to this dude Kevin's house, and like you're like, wow, I'm so attracted. To his farm and like he doesn't have a farm. <laughs> that would be so devastating. <laughs> I would say dating is pretty difficult though, because uh, like someone can do me wrong and I'm I like I I'm the one that apologizes if the other person starts a fight just because I like keeping the peace. It's like we'll get in an argument and the boy will cut his hair and I'm like, is that an apology? It looks kind of nice, you know. <laughs> Like, you know, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't have to uh, apologize. Um, 
this, this has been a very hard month for a lot of people, I can tell. Uh, recently, I actually lost my grandmother, um, but she was one of the funniest people I know, and I thought I would share a story about her uh, growing up. So when I was five years old, we went to the mall, and we went as a family, uh, and I had a glow stick that my sister gave me because she went to a roller rink, and they sell those at the roller rink, and she gave it to me the next day. Um, and I was just like minding my own business, and I actually uh, was chewing on it like it was a pen, and it exploded in my mouth. <laughs> and my mom went to tell my grandmother, who was this extravagant woman, she was always dressed to the nines, loved jewelry, uh, and she was in the fitting room, and I like to imagine it went like this. Uh, you know, Adele, well, that's her name, my mom told her, you know, wanted a glow stick, we have to go to the hospital. She looks at my mother and says, is he throwing up? My mom said, no, but he ate a glow stick. We should really get this, you know, check it out. She's like, uh, can I try on another coat? Um, and that's the story of how my grandma is the most fabulous woman in the United States of America. Like, literally, I was, I ingested poison, and she was like, actually, this for COVID is just amazing right now. <laughs> Speaking of things in the United States of America, uh, capitalism, annoying, ugh, hate it. Uh, but I started looking at cars the other day, and they're pretty pricey. I was like, this is a really expensive water bottle holder. Like, that's what it's going to end up being used for. It's going to be used for, you know, water bottles. And then I started thinking about, like, how gross cars can get. Like, I'm pretty good using air fresheners to, like, to, like vacuum my car. But is anyone else's center console, like, the dirtiest place in the United States of America? It's like, there's always a penny that is stuck. Like, you don't know what the stuff is. <laughs> Oh my god. Yay, one! Oh my god, thank you so much for performing. You are amazing. Yeah, of, yeah, so of course, of course. All right, so we're going to go on to our last team, and they are Team Ice Cream. So I'm just going to call out your names. Um, we have Aaron, Don, Sam, Shalita, and me. All right, so um, go ahead, Aaron. You can make me host, so that way I can oh, share this. You should be able to do share. I, I have a setting already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Let me just minimize that for just a moment oh shoot maybe i should mm. all right can you guys see that mm -hmm. yep. all right awesome let's see what our topic is going to be and our topic is going to be <laughs> flying to south korea to see blackpink Oh my god, they are my favorite um, K-pop um, artists, so that's our topic, and um, who's going to be timing? Um, is Donovan TPS still here? Yes. Okay, and will you be timing? Uh, uh, was it 50 minutes set? 15. Oh, 50. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, not, 50! Holy range. cow! <laughs> we're not doing a long form? Extra long. 50 that, minutes. It's, it's like, like a whole movie, movie of airplanes we're not um, doing the movie format no we are not doing the for movie format we can't do that i'm sorry it's that, gonna be too long show. but that's yeah it. all right let's do this i don't think i'm ready to get on that airplane this is funny we've been preparing for this for i know Months. I know, but I, I don't know if I can do this. What if there are animals in the plane, you know? They, they might put them in the cargo hold, and I'm just like, what if, what if I just give up my seat? Give up my seat for a dog? I would do it. Well, honey, that's very altruistic of you, but they, they like it in the cargo hold. It's, they, it's like a, they've got a I don't know. Have you ever been in a cargo hold? Once, yeah. 
yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. you know, yeah. established yeah. businessman. Uh huh. That, that was, was our first date. date. Maybe I'm just still a little salty about that and brought up animals, but you know, for our whole whole time. Well, listen, honey, I made it up to you. The next next year, I, I took you on a date to economy class. You know, that was pretty nice, right? Right. The economy class and dealing with math makes me feel like I'm in my own personal cargo hold in my head. Will the uh, page party please uh, make your way to the gate? That is the page party. Please make your way to the gate. Oh, my last name is Page. Right? Yes. Oh, no. And that's my last name, too, because... Yeah. We got, we got married. Right. In a cargo hold. We did. We did. Oh, God, it's the attendant. Hi, welcome to Eastern Airlines. How are you today? Oh, I, are you the page party? Yeah. Did, did you really mean to ask us how we are today? Because I can give you a genuine answer. Oh, honey. Well, if you want to give me a genuine answer, but it's, a, it's a customary question that we hear uh, say at Eastern Airlines. The, the fact that you're wearing that color blouse with those slacks makes me want to punch you in the face, but not because that's uh, rude. Well, that's that's just the color scheme of our airlines. Black and pink. It works a little bit. Just, just oh, a little I'm so bit. Sorry. Now, look, uh, there has to there seems to be a bit of a um, hiccup uh, with your your tickets here. And, uh, 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 ma'am, are, are you in seat, um, F7? That sounds... Yes. That's, that's the, the, the seat that my husband booked. Yes. I'm in Oh, uh, I, okay, yes. Well, um, here's the thing. F7 is actually in an extra exited, uh, spacious, uh, uh, row. Now, there seems to be a, a, a 200-pound Doberman who needs a kidney transplant to the trip that you are both flying on. And he needs extra space to lie about, and we were, have no choice but to give up F7. So you will have to be switching with the 200-pound Doberman who will be sitting in the cargo. Is that okay? Dearest. Yes. Yes. Dearest. Yes. They're going to put us in a fucking cargo hold. Again. Cut to South Korea. Oh my god. Blackpink! I'm so excited to see their content for the very first time! Like, you have no idea, it's always been my dream. Hi! Hey! hey. You're, here at the con you're here for the concert too! Yes! Are, are, are you, you are the person who's sharing our hotel room with us? Uh-huh! Honey, she's so bright and cheerful, I don't know if I can handle this. Blackpink <laughs> in your area! Woo! She's delightful. She's upbeat and bubbly. You can't. You, you, you gotta turn that frown upside down when you got a roommate like this. Come on. They don't. I, my face won't allow it to stay like that. But we'll try. We'll try. Oh, honey, here, here. Just, just try it like this until it, until it stays. You know, it's like knock, knock, knock at the door. Knock, knock. Oh. Who did that? Honey, I'm gonna go tape up my face in the bathroom. You get that. Oh my god, who, who's that? How's it going? I'm like, I came all the way here from Kansas City to see Blackpink. Oh my god, with all hey! Guys. Less money for the room, great. Yeah! I know, right? That's what I thought. Oh my god, this is a very tiny room. <laughs> it's an uh, economy room, so. Oh, my name is uh, Wolfman John. How's it going? Hey. Wolfman John, I'm John, John Page. And I'm John Page! John Page! John Page. And hey, I'm Can I call you Page Master? Sure. Alright. And Miss, who are you? Oh, my name's May. Hi, May. I'm Wolfman John. Nice to meet you. I'm Deborah. Deborah Page. Beth! My wife, she's in the bathroom. She's working on the, the smile uh, mechanics. Oh, I think no we're, way. yeah, I think yeah. we're supposed to have one more person, but we'll, we'll see if they're coming or not. But yeah, let's all get along and talk about Blackpink. So what's your favorite Absolutely. song? Yeah. What's your favorite I'm song? Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a deep cuts classic guy myself. The, 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 uh, the, the 19 show, forget about it. Oh, oh. I like. I like, uh, I'm all about the hits, you know, those radio staples that you just can sing along to and you know they're gonna, they're gonna sing, sing one. 
I like, oh yeah, you sing, honey. You're so good at the song. Oh, well, you know, I, I just love, uh, I love singing on the spot. Um, uh, you, you are everything to me. I am everything to me. rings. Just like the, oh, phone's ringing. I got it. Hello? Is it number five? Hello? Hello? Uh, this, this is the front desk. Yes? Uh, I, I have something I need to tell this room. Uh, A103? Uh-huh. Uh, this room is going to be taken over by several 200-pound uh, Dobermans uh, for a dog hospital. Um, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, we do have a backup room, but it is in the boiler room in the basement. Oh no. So you can either uh, decide to go to the boiler room or uh, get out of the room and uh, find a different uh, hotel. Thank you. Click. My whole life feels like a fucking cargo hold. Swipe. Okay, so, so have you been working on the dance, dance routine? routine? Because, because I'm not about to get up on that stage and look stupid. I I really hung over, so I I really just didn't want to get into it too too hard today. If that's okay, how are we supposed to how are we supposed to be a pop group if we can't do elaborate dance routines with sick transitions? Just use like computer graphics and like holograms. We don't actually need to be up there. We just have to like record it ahead of time, you know? No one's gonna know the difference. Huh, you know what? I like that. So, what we need is we need to get us a smart person who can make that happen. Definitely not me, I'm the bashful one. Yeah. I'm just the ridiculously cute and clumsy one. But, but also, also bitchy, bitchy on Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> well, well, I'm too hungover to, like, really get into the CG stuff, but... Right. I, I, I mean, we could get our manager involved. I, I'm sure okay. there's going to be someone in South Korea that can help us do this. Right. I mean, w once we get it done, we don't have to work at this anymore. Do you guys need a, do you guys need a choreographer? Yeah, yeah, I need a choreographer who can double as a life coach for this one over here who keeps getting drunk. You, you know the rules are we're not supposed to be drinking before before practicing or performing? I'm not drinking right now. I drank yesterday, so I'm not breaking the rules. But okay? it's still but it's still before. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You try not to say the A word though. Boing. But it's getting really hard every day. You got, if you guys cannot do the choreograph right, you will be hit with this hammer. <gasps> well, what if, not saying it is, but what if hammer hitting is my kink? <laughs> hmm. I mean, the only way to find out is to try it. All right, let me see, let me see what you guys got. Come on, group up, let's go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna count, all right? A five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. Okay. No. <laughs> and then that's backflip, but my legs aren't doing that today. I'm Ooh. not, I'm, you know, I can do a little bit of hand arm waving, but I, I just don't feel like this is the day for me to be doing this any more than... Typically, I'm on top of the parapet and I get the, a, a grimace. How bad do you guys want this? Do you, don't you guys want to be up there and be really famous, not known to South yeah. Korea, but the whole world? You might exactly. get you sure. get Mike nominated for dream. Dream. Yeah, you might get nominated for the Grammys. Yeah, I mean, I could, I I could go either way, honestly, but I, I just want to like get this over with, you know, right. today, and, and go back to the bar later after practice. Girl, I'm like really concerned about you. Like it's always about the drinking, even when we're out with cute boys. You're like always about the drinking. That's what makes it fun. I think you're going to turn into the drinking. I'm a human being, okay? I can't turn into alcohol. 
I, I can't believe this, you know. I Cut to, to the bar scene. Feel things about what I'm doing with my life, and all you do is bring me negativity. The Spice Girls hired me as a new choreographer. Cut to the bar scene. <laughs> You know, this this tastes kind of like you, this beverage. <laughs> oh, this never ends, does it? People think I'm, think I'm booze. Oh, you're here. Right. I just ran in to try to, like, talk some sense into you. And I hear a guy talking about drinking you. And now I'm concerned. I'm concerned, I'm concerned too. I'm starting, I'm starting to think someone's selling my 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 blood or something and making it. What do you have there? What is that drink? Oh, it's it's called Jennifer. Tag <laughs> out Sam and uh, Shalita. <laughs> Hello there. You're. Uh, I couldn't help but notice from the other side of the bar that you have a very uh, interesting scent. May I smell your neck? I'm never coming back to this bar. This is ridiculous. Are you, are you like, taking my blood when I'm asleep? Of course not. I never take without asking permission. Oh, I get it. I get so drunk and I, I, I invite some vampire into my room. Who said anything about the vampire? I didn't say anything about the vampire. <laughs> so, so what? What do you consider yourself? What? What's your job here? Creeper? I'm a, I'm just, I'm a European. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Here. Hey, hey, bartender. I, I'm pulling out the tab. I'm, I'm never coming back to this establishment. Uh, wh what is that behind you? A Frankenstein? What? Oh, okay. what just... oh my. What just happened here? I just got. Just came here and. There was a bat in the bar? That is so freaking weird. Hmm. It's like we don't do drugs anymore, girl. <laughs> I think it's your first time here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, for real. Yeah, this place is, uh... It's got all the supernatural stuff. It's... We're used to it. It's Europe, you know. Mocha Frappuccino for Kyle. Mocha Frappuccino for Kyle. That's me. Thank you. So this is, like... There's, like, paranormal activity that happens in this bar? Yeah. 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 No big deal. This but it's okay. We're like literally wearing black and pink socks because it's a good luck trinket. And I got my hammer just in case. I bring it with me every single day. You really do. And sometimes, girl, it intimidates men and that's why you're single. I'm feeling a little intimidated right now. I know. You just found a man. But this one squeaks, see? It's a, it's yeah, yeah. But, but that's, that's what scares, scares them, them because, because you'll make them squeak. Yeah, I, I think I'm about to leave now, so I'm hearing. No, no wait, Kyle, Kyle, that was your name, Mocha Frappuccino Macchiato. Kyle, Kyle. Mocha Frappuccino. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you had a fancy drink. Yeah. I uh. Blended ice cream. Kyle, I apologize. I gave you a decaf mocha frappuccino. This is a regular mocha frappuccino. Oh, thanks, thanks. I, I, I need oh. to work up. Can I, Can I take, take back the decaf, decaf, please? I don't care if you drink. Can I just take it back? Uh, no. That's how the government makes clones of you, by the way. Exactly. I'm not I'm not trusting the government. Kyle, my boss, he's like watching me, so I need, my, I need the frappuccino back. You can't have two, Kyle. I mean... Watch me. Oh no, he's going for it. He's going for it! Oh my God. Look, Kyle, I understand so that the customer's is always right, right, but sometimes the customer can be an asshole. Ooh, I'm a... You know what? I'm gonna film you. I'm a hype. I, I quit. Yeah, I'm gonna film you. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna film you
Yay! Thank you. All right, everybody, turn on your cameras because um, this is actually the time to actually promote. If you guys want to promote, go right ahead. Um, I'll just wait. If you, if you guys want to promote, just raise your hand and I'll I'll pick you. All right, Shalita. Hey, I'm Shalita, or a simple plush toy on Twitch and Instagram and TikTok. Definitely check me out. I'm also part of Improv Chattanooga. We perform improv every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, right now, our game of the month is basically we want the audience to send us stories from their personal lives, and we use it as inspiration. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. All right, anyone else? Donovan TPS. Uh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, so Donovan TPS, uh, feel free to subscribe. Your YouTube shows every week. I'll be back with a show on December 11th, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, and I actually have a few slots open. Improvised Star Wars Holiday Special. So we're going to do three more holiday specials to try to redeem the old one. But the Lego one would be really cool. So send me a message if you want to play on the mashup team, because we have, like, four or five spots left. Ooh. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, anyone else want to promote? Going. Aaron. Uh, I got a podcast. Uh, it's called uh, Real Time Comedy, spelled R E E L. And um, it's where me and a group of improvisers watch a movie that we've never seen before on mute and re record new dialogue and score in real time. Um, you can follow me on Instagram there, it's at Real Time Comedy, and uh, there will be a link in the, the bio there for the subscription on uh, Apple iTunes Podcasting. Okay, nice, definitely check it out. Okay, Juan, hi! I'm Juan Munoz, you can add me on Facebook, I'm not really promoting, but if you want to be my Instagram friend, you can add me at Juan with words. I post inconsistently, but you know, I'll hype you up. <laughs> Yay, awesome. Anyone else? Let's see. Going once. Going twice. Okay. Oh my god, this has been a wonderful experience. Thank you all so much for taking the time to perform on my fir very first show. I do apologize that I'm still trying to get familiar with Zoom. I appreciate everything. Um, man, I'm getting old. Ah. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. We wait, should, should we all sing? Oh, I feel like we should. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll work. A one, a two, a three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. And many more. Cha cha cha. You guys are gonna make me cry. You guys are gonna make me cry. Oh. I I've never been so emotional for so long. Just cry as candy, please. Candy. I'm so emotional because like. I know this is a really rough time right now because of the pandemic and everything, but like I've struggled so much <laughs> personally and but for you guys to like show up, like I've struggled so much, but thank you guys so much for joining me and being here for my birthday. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support. Yes, absolutely. Happy to come. Happy to come. It was, a, it was a lot of fun, despite it uh, being like a last minute thing for me. Yeah. I, don't have, I, you, Rizzy, 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 you know me from speech. What did I ever do impromptu? Okay. What did I do? You did pretty well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you're not an improv guy. No, I'm not actually. <laughs> I, I, I the, the, the most. All right. The most Improv I've ever done was uh, the the coffee house back in uh, Ashby, like in Hodgkins or whatever, where they got like Thursday night comedy. Oh. Uh, it's like Hodgkins. 
it, it's like right by the UPS cash facility, the big hub for UPS, you know? I forget what the name of the damn coffee place is. Ashberries, that's it. Yes, Ashberries, yes. It's... Yeah, I was one of like, do that, but I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I just, she called me last minute because apparently someone dropped and she was like, can you do the improv? So I was just going to do the little jokes part. <laughs> All right. By so, the way, that last scene at the coffee shop bar, that was like a full on like Vietnam War flashback for me from my Starbucks days. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. Fuck you, Sam. We're still <laughs> We're still recording, Watch but <laughs> We're st- we're, st- we're still on op- <laughs> We're still on Twitch right now. One moment. All right. So, Aaron, did, you, did you see my reference to the last night? All right, I'm gonna close out OBS. Or actually, the Twitch right now, so wave everybody bye. We can still chat, but yeah, bye. All right, and we.